Hello, my friends of Hotel Labs. Welcome to this um, tutorial. This tutorial is about a basic example of low pipe. So we uh, this tutorial is inspired on the flow pipe documentation, especially on this tutorial. But we have create we have um, somehow applied or maybe we have somehow and set up some features and let's and uh, we will do a discussion as well of what we are doing with with the model and um, in this tutorial so let's let's start and i hope that you like it okay so we are going to run flow by the node you will find um a tutorial about how to install flow pie in anaconda okay so just in case if you have trouble with this because it has a small trick on that okay so let's see i'm going to apply new and i'm going to open a new python tree okay just for the purpose of this tutorial okay please work on your documents okay so you will find this so you can just download it and and put it on the documents just because i want to be I want to be sure that you will follow this. Yeah. Okay. So here you have the modflow 2005 second file. Okay. That you will find as well on the description. This is um yeah, well, this is a file that was working in, and then you will find here the other iPython node. But please notice that you have here what you have here is a model file that is actually those are the inputs, I mean, the model files and the model output, okay? And why you have done that? Because uh, otherwise, if I do not do this, I will have all the files listed on this directory, and it will, and if you deal with modflow, you will know that it creates a lot of files, so you will have many things on your model and on this directory, and it will look, um, this. It will look disordered, so it's better just to to create these model files, and then the code actually will create the model files on this directory, and the output will be as well on this directory. Okay, cool, great. Okay, let's see. Let's start. Okay, so we are going to create a new Python tree and say flow by model. Okay, cool. We are doing great. First, we have to import some required. Uh, we have to import some required um, package, yeah, like import flowpy. We have to import it. Like OS is just to to work with the files. Uh, let's see, and uh, numpy as well. Import numpy as np. Okay, so we run the cell. Uh, there is a shortcut or to run cell that is shift and enter. So, um, or this one, because it's more practical shift and enter. Okay, so we are, we are going to call the model name will be uh, flow by model. Okay, and then we, uh, okay, okay. Um, hmm. look, yeah, I don't want to, to be typing everything here, but look here, this will be okay. Okay, let's, let's do this. Then we change to model files because actually we are going to work with the model file. But in this in this case, since the exec file is not in model file, but it's one directory up, up, it's in one directory up. Yeah, we what we will do is that we have to call it in this way because we have to add i mean if everything was in the same as the tutorial if everything was in the same directory i i i wouldn't need this but in, in this case i'm working just on the model files and, but if i want to to call the execute exec file i have to use this expression okay cool so okay once again Yes, run. Okay, and then I'm going to create a model that will be 
a model definition and grid definition. Okay, my model will be like the length will be 1000 by 1000, it will be the top will be 100, the bottom will be minus 100. It will have, have four layers, 10 rows, 10 columns, and this is the discretization. Okay, cool. And this is the, the bottom. But let's see, I mean, for example, something good about Jupyter Notebook is that you have, you can run, which is the, the discretization is 100 because it's 1000 divided by 10 rows or 10 columns, okay? And let's see which is the vertical discretization. 50 because it's from, it's from 100 to minus 100 is 200 meters divided in four layers is 50 meters. Okay, and this is the bottom M. What is bottom M? Bottom M is an array that actually divides, I mean, that gets the surface and the bottom of every layer. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just plot this because I want that you understand what is. Okay, and then we create the discretization object that is this one, and then I run. Okay, that say this is the mod flow, this is number of layer, number of column, number of roll, columns, this is the discretization, this is the top, this is the top, that is this one, and the bottom is the bottom, but those are the bottom for the whole layer because. It actually takes from the first, I mean, it do not take the first element because the first element is actually surface, okay? Cool. And then we create, um, we, we define, I mean, we have defined already the geometry, yeah? And we have for defined already the, yes, yeah, the geometry and the vertical discretization, but we, find the initial heads and as well something that is called I bound that it actually defines if a cell is is um, is, uh, is active or is a constant head or is inactive okay so we are going to define it so this is variable for the bus, bus package okay so actually what do we do here we run this and it says that so if I if I type the I bound the from layer zero you will see that from your from your array like this column and this column will be defined as constant head while the, all the rest will be defined as uh will be defined as active okay and but this is only for the first layer because actually you are applying this just to first layer because it's the item zero one actually everything is active and this is something that we will see on the more results as well okay cool and if we apply the this is the initial heads, okay, for the first layer. You will see as well that this is 100, the rest is, is one, and then the other side is 80. And because this is, I want minus one, this will be defined as constant head as well, okay? So, okay, so this is, I will recommend you that you go to the mod flow documentation to see how is this and how this works, okay? This is not such a, this is a basic example, but it actually requires that the user will be somehow related about model construction with the mod flow files, okay? So then we, what we have done, we have created the geometry and as well the initial conditions and the I bound, okay? Something that we have to do as well is to create the, um, the layer property flow because actually this with this, this is a flow package okay and the horizontal conductivity will be 110 to the minus 7 and the vertical conductivity will, will be 110 to the minus 7 as well yeah okay this is uh we will uh for the description we will deal with a uh, fractured rock because these are the, the these are the uh the units of this okay 
these are the range of hydraulic conductivities in meters per second for this. Okay, that's great. Uh, we can apply observation file, but actually, uh, okay, we have a, we cannot apply observation file. Let's see if I can work without, because actually, uh, I want to fancy around, I want to create this code as, as simple as possible because I know that it's not so clear. Okay, then we define a package, a PCG that is a solver. Yeah, if you are dealing with regular aquifers with the, where the geometries are not complex, I strongly recommend you PCG, but if you are dealing with a irregular topographies or like very different uh, sizes in the in your discretization I recommend that you use mod flu in the UT. okay so I just run it okay and then I create the input files okay with this and this creates the input file so actually I will delete what I had here okay I don't know what I can do that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so what I will do, I will write the input. So if I run this cell, what I have done is that if I go to model file, I have the, mod, the bus file, the disk file, the LPF, the NAM, and the PCG. Okay, these are the input files that I will require Actually, those are the ones that are listed on the NAM file. Okay, cool. Yeah, and okay, that's great. What else? Sorry. Then I have to run the model, so I can run the model. Okay, so let's say it runs really fast. I mean, if you are dealing with any type of of a pre-visualization or post-visualization free or commercial that this, this is, I mean, you will see what she said, which is the difference, okay? Okay, normal simulation, okay? And then we create a code that is similar to the, to the commentation that is actually will show the first, the first layer and the second layer, okay? This will be, not the third, Layer, but it's the item three that is actually for layer because Python counts from zero. Okay, cool. Mm. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Something is going on here. Yeah, I knew. Something, yeah. I knew, I knew, I knew. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I, I get confused. Okay. Look, here I run it, and then actually you do not create the HDS file because it's actually this is an observation. Yeah, OC is not, is I I was confusing or I'm confused, I'm confused, yeah, but this is, okay, after PCG, no, before PCG and after LPF, I insert a cell that is actually the output control, this is, I, I, I was confused because I thought that this was not the output control, but it, that it was the, um, that it was not the output control, but it was the observation. No, this is the output control. If I do not set that, I can I do not have the output. Okay, once again, just to not to be confused because this is interactive, I have to restart the kernel. Otherwise, I will have variables on the. Otherwise, I will have variables on the memory, and this will create some conflicts on my on the simulation, yeah, I always recommend to, for you, I just have to, to run all the cells, so I run this, I run this, okay, once again, 
kernel clear output or yeah because there are some problems so you clear the output and then you run one two in this order three four five six seven eight nine ten okay this but the, which is the difference that actually you will have this flow by model hds that is the output of the software okay and with this code you will plot the heads on the first layer and the heads on the fourth layer okay okay that's great but let's see if there is some compatibility with um with model muse and there is because actually the hds is the binary form of the is the binary form of the is the binary form of the heads provided by um, um, by modflow so i can but the this extension is not actually understood by model muse so i have to uh, change i uh, create a copy and change the extension from hd hds to bhd okay so i just then i run it okay and they say okay you have flow by model bhd so if you open model news okay and then you create a new mod flow model no you import a new mod flow model and then you the name file will be okay this is already on documents model files now okay you open okay and then you find this four layer model with 10 rows and 10 columns okay and then if you can open the results the flow by model dodge bhd that is actually the hds but the, the extension bhd okay as a control grid cool and then you see here that is actually you see the heads on the first layer and then if you go down you see the heads on the lower layers okay so cool i hope that this tutorial will get will help you to go through flowpy because actually flowpy is is a very interesting library to create and optimize the work that you do with modflow and python okay um it can help you to play around with uh, with more variables it can help you to help you to that you uh, assess better uh, the uncertainties that you work faster if you do consultancy or like you create some special output as well yeah that's very important because you can create some defined output that it will be helpful that reports or something like that okay um and or maybe to do some pumping test whatever so i strongly recommend that you follow this tutorial yeah and then we will create more tutorials as well so uh, you're invited to to follow us to give a like to this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel and i will tell you what we are we are Hatari Labs. Hatari Labs is a blog on numerical modeling. Our three main core business is numerical modeling, GIS, and programming. Um, we will we provide a lot of tutorials in GIS, in Modflow, and in Python. So I hope that you follow us by our Facebook channel, our Twitter channel, and as well we have a newsletter with very interesting topics for you. So, um, once again, this uh, please have a great day and I hope to see you in coming tutorials. Okay, bye bye. Bye.